One day we'll have a house like this ourselves. What do you think about that? No, that's for you. Go ahead. Big one. Yes, sir. Do you think that we'll be friends forever? Is that a monkey? I feel like that's a dumb question. Right. So, did you... Basically, his name is Chocolate, and he's my new best friend, as you can see. No, yeah. This all makes a lot of sense. Look, oh, guys. Me. That's a monkey. See? No filler when Ludwig talks. Why? Why? Is that... Are we Are we following laws? Is this okay? Look, there's two monkeys in the room right now, Chocolate. Look at that. talking about you. That's cool. It's not me. You're the monkey. Uh. Uh. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not a big deal. You guys are making... Is it like a deal. sexual thing? Hi, officer. What can I do for you? Morning, sir. Um, we've just been making the rounds uh, to let people know that uh, something was taken from the police station last night. Oh, um, what was that? Well, it was either taken or it escaped. Point is, very dangerous situation, so if you wouldn't mind looking out for okay. me, yeah? Yeah, All right. we'll do. Let Keep us know. Out. You have our number, 911. Right, yeah. okay. All right. Have a good one. Son, did you take that monkey from the police station? Wow, what a question, right? Because it's like, what does that really mean to take? Dude, they're looking for him. Hey, did you guys see this? Apparently there was a big drug bust like right down the street and they arrested like a monkey from a cartel or something. Look, Chocolate the Lesbian is talking. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna kill that monkey. I'm not sorry. Kill yourself. You should be fucking sorry. What I wish fu you died. Over why would, a monkey? Why would you take a monkey? I feel like I did what is expected of me, and you guys are being a fucking asshole. You're being a fucking asshole. I don't care if that's true. You're being an asshole. I also. enjoyed watching you get waxed and writhing in pain. What? It, it was a good two hours. For one, by the way. Dude, chocolate, also, chocolate's probably dead. Chocolate had the greatest end of days a monkey could ever eat. Why do you get to make that You don't call? get to decide that a monkey had a good life. I made the nachos, didn't I? You, you fed a monkey human dish food. in your life. Yeah. You don't relish in the boys in blue putting one in chocolate. Well, that's... Wave your fucking thin blue line, you piece of shit. I don't relish in that. I'm the one who lost an actual friend. You guys didn't give a fuck. Oh, yeah? About you, that monkey. Okay, what was You're chocolate's right. last I... name? Monkey. <laughs> 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 So think about Chocolate that. monkey. You're being an asshole mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. You're being an asshole. Look around. Look what you did in my fucking house. First the hammer, I, I but, looked but by. Habit, did you sink your t toes into the nice lush dirt? No. Because I'm fucking injured. <laughs> and I had to get my ankle repaired. And I got a shoe on because I got a fuck up mangly foot. I'm never going to beat George not dirt, found now. I got dirt in my cut. Who asked? Sorry. <laughs> I know you're going through a lot, Aiden. I know we're mad at him, but you are still the loud, annoying one. That is not different now. Yeah, how'd you mess that up? You good? Here's the thing, guys. Yeah, let me ex let me break this down to you. If you're, the also, if you're an audio listener, you're probably like, what, are they what the heck are they talking about? Fuck them. Fuck you. You better <laughs> tune into the YouTube right now to figure out what's going on. Yeah. But but <laughs> our life is over. And if it's dude, Wednesday, go fuck yourself. Dude, they're taking the house. Yeah. Did Zipper just fart? Yeah, That's yeah. Zipper fart. Everything's all fucked up. Yeah, this is bad. Fucking I don't, weird. I've never heard him do that. Before. I didn't know Zipper could fart. I didn't know Zippers could fart. Yeah. So, so the, the, here's the thing. If you, you saw what happened, the chocolate was a cartel monkey. They threw the cops came. They threw a grenade up here. I jumped on it. I protected all of us. Okay. Every, you know everything being said, it's still not all cops though. S cab for life. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, the cops came. We had to go down to the station. They took Eamon's mug shot. He looked like shit per usual. It looked bad and dumb and idiotic. I charmed the pants off of him. I got us all off light. No, I was, you know, I was thinking about. It. I feel like I feel like you wouldn't have needed a monkey if Aiden wasn't like like out so much. Was being a better friend. Like he's out a lot, and I feel like that made you, you need a monkey. That? I do Good think point. that I feel sympathy for you in that way. Because that, we that's hang so out less. You to say. You that's how anymore. you're gonna rationalize this. I'm those. not rationalizing it. I'm just explaining the truth and logic. Stop and digging your grippers. Why? In. It's I'm, I'm, getting, me off. I'm getting I'm getting comfy in the dirt uh, with the explosion. Isn't dirt. it crazy how this is a set, but dirt appears <laughs> when the grenade exploded? <laughs> Dude, yeah, because it was grass. It was a it was a dirt grenade. The whole house was insulated with just dirt. Yeah, that's how you stay warm. Yeah, that's how they do it West Coast. In the winter uh, months. West Coast? Dirt, West <laughs> dirt grenades don't touch Carhartt jackets. That's true, too. That's, hey, why, man, that's why, why he's so hey, clean. Man, that's why you're well, no, no, right before the explosion happened, I took off my jacket and I threw it. It wasn't in the cut, but right. I, I threw it. I threw it. And, I, and, and then Zipper dove on the grenade, which softened it a lot. Mm -hmm. No, I drove on the grenade. Zipper dove on your jacket. Dude, the award! <laughs> yeah, you see it's that? It's in the TA. I can't kickflip it that's there. That's so much cooler than your kickflip. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta be that's mean. true. Well, one grenade. Dude, it's in there. One grenade. You get to be out. mean now. Yeah. Pull it out. Imagine, no, 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 don't pull it imagine out. if a grenade was in every Nija Houston video. It'd be way cooler. Do you think that, that we'll be friends forever? No, I think our friendship ends today. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I want to podcast with you again, bro. <laughs> what? There's, there's just a... scrap metal. I just hit my foot on scrap yeah, metal. Yeah, what do we got to move some scrap? Here's yeah, some there was some scrap in my scrap. seat. Don't pull up metal but around this is good. me. <laughs> That's some good scrap. <laughs> good. That's some good scrap. I've seen a lot of scrap in my day. This is good. I don't scrap. want to fucking podcast with you no, anymore. No, this gets you clown. <laughs> this gets bubs and outs for sure. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop yeah, waving. He, get, he well, gets it. Much, he gets it. Yeah. Yeah. He gets it. Dude, dude, I get it. Throw it, it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. He just started did. watching The Wire. So At least we have a bunch of crud now. We do have a lot of yummy crud. To, dude, to snack this on. guy. Man, he's like covered in dirt. Dude, that's our crud guy. That's the only thing that should normally be covered in dirt on the set dude, right his now. His pose, I don't think I've ever thought about it. His pose is so hard. He's like. Yeah, he's he's pretty much throwing the face. He's up doing the though. um. Do you think like, he's the horse owner pose? Wait, to be clear, he's doing a finger gun. Do you think he's got oh. chrome on him with a bird though? That's do you cool. think he's strapped? Well, he has asking? the Rasta hat, so you know he's got a bit of of ganja. Could be stereotyping. Yeah, yeah, you, well, you could. It's certainly Ross, stereotyping. Ross. It could be a white guy at a at a college with just a Rasta hat. What if he just is from, of the Rasta culture but doesn't have weed on him? You we're stereotyping. I feel like I don't think weed should be illegal, Ludwig. And that's why he's we're different. white, so he's got a Blue Lives Matter flag. It's like, come on. Did you see the clip of Kanye West walking out of the the racist, most racist podcast ever? Yeah, because he couldn't say that the Jews were like controlling the. Like the satellites. Oh and yeah, shit. it's it like crazy. It's <laughs> like it is. It was, you're talking it's about dream Kanye... blood rotation for anti semites. Yeah, and he was it's... like, you know what? You guys aren't hard enough, and he left. It's a nightmare blood rotation that's for a, sure. That's it. Nick Quentis <laughs> does not pass it back, or just does, he fake hits it. I, I don't yeah. know either he one. He ghost hits it and also <laughs> yeah. doesn't pass it. He does the Kyle bit where he's holding it the whole time. Oh yeah, dude. He's like, are you out. gonna smoke that? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do. I love weed. <laughs> Love I, weed, hate Jews, love weed. Honestly, that's one of the best Kyle bits, I think. You ever. guys see that Katy Perry music video? No, it doesn't have to do with her being anti but You see the one where she's like, <laughs> where she's like with all the soldiers? Have you guys seen this? No. Oh, I can't I, show I, you, because yeah. you fucking did that to our Yo, lives. You guys are saying up. that I did this, and it was the police I pull, that did this. Pull, pull up the Katy Perry boomer meme. Y'all seen that? We don't even have a new We tweeted out a boomer meme. I, mean, I don't know. I just want to go back to the old days. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she did a music video where she's like a soldier and it's like a like a pro US Army propaganda yeah, it's music really video weird. theme. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think see. here, you know what? You guys are being assholes because maybe we maybe what we don't need media. You know what I mean? <laughs> maybe what we need is each other. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's you, this. Maybe this, we, you're really skirting the line on dog whistling right now. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Hey, 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 can Very, we trust them? No, though? we're too busy <laughs> being we don't, our you know what? Think about what we were talking about two minutes ago, and now you're like, we don't really need the media. Hey. I was saying media in general, like TVs and phones. Dude, no, you're, you're right. When you're you're right. <laughs> the juxtaposition in context. Look how crazy you're right. Is. You're racist when you're hungry. Archie can just put it on the screen. 
She's like a she's like a soldier. <laughs> yeah, this is she's like getting oh, choked. you know what? <laughs> what the That's fuck weird, is this? It yeah. is really fun to run under the flag when they wave it. We did that in school. Ooh, yeah. yeah, parachute yeah. day. Is it like a uh, Pentagon funded music I, video? Yeah, colloquially. You ever, I don't know. You ever looked into the all uh, all the State Department uh State Department interference in movies that they do? Yeah, you've brought this up before. Uh, for the for the Tiger <clears throat> Cruise movie for DCOM. Oh, uh, right. Because, the, yeah, like, uh, the, the American government will subsidize movie production if you play <clears throat> by the rules. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if your Damn plane, go. if your movie needs, like, planes in it or, like, other military equipment, you can get that for free from the hey, U.S. military. As long as Chris Kyle you, doesn't miss a shot. If you That's follow, right. You get all the money you need. <laughs> if you follow certain guidelines and, like, for example, <laughs> Zero Dark Thirty cut out and toned down torture <laughs> scenes and had to make it look like torture worked it's fucked up Aesop because Rock the state would, uh, department was like <laughs> censor like could that. you change these things and classically torture doesn't work by the way yeah classically, for, 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 for decades i will i will wait 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> i don't buy this let's, let's, let's go back so torture doesn't work I, i'll never forget this i'll look. never forget <laughs> this i have a very i have a very like s- smart friend of mine that i knew in college And he said one of the dumbest things that he's ever said to me, which was this subject came up and he was like, I've always thought like, there's no way they do torture if it like didn't work at all. And I was like, not only are you wrong, but there is a massive like report from our own government from the FBI, not known to be the most like CIA, progressive yeah. institution yeah. that even they and CIA and even they were like, yeah, this shit actually didn't work at all in yeah. zero instances. Yeah. I just feel like it does work because when I tell Nick Yingling to run one more round of Birio cart, he starts opening up a lot. So <laughs> the FBI, it's like, hey, by the way, to all terrorist organizations, Torture doesn't work, so you might as well stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> also, we it's don't gay like time it. in the bathroom. So <laughs> yeah. if you go into the bathroom, then you'd be gay. So. Yeah, and also nukes make you gay now, so you shouldn't use them. Putin, Putin's stuck on that one. <laughs> like, the idea is that uh, if you torture someone, then they will just tell you whatever you want to hear. And yeah, they'll do if. what if they don't know. They will just tell you whatever they need to say to make it mm. stop. Stop, and just like Nick Gingling, he just wants to tell you his deepest, most innermost secrets, so you won't have him do more birio. And say, and you, you. I've always seen it as like torture is the proof that they will kill you, and the truth is what stops them from killing you later when they find out that it's you didn't you lied. You know what I mean? Like if you lie being tortured, then you know that they'll probably kill you after for finding that out. Do you think about this? I've watched a lot of like movies where torture is in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is kind of the whole conversation. Recently, I watched, <laughs> you know what? I kind of had this thought literally when I watched Salt. Yeah, you're the Pete Campbell of torture. Except it's what's in- soup got to do with this? <laughs> yeah, we should should have had Nick on the black sites. That would have. Been- <laughs> He's like, ah. is that like E bombs world? <laughs> <laughs> I keep going. Just keep throwing me lines. <laughs> Yo, you all play stick avalanche? Ah, fuck it around. You guys are oh, cool. Man. The alphabet song, dirty oh. version. Yeah, I, I I didn't spit it that time. Me and Cutie Theory crafted how to escape from a police chase. Oh, like yeah. the highway because you know, so you saw that huge <laughs> yeah. police chase like two weeks ago. Ludwig watched Baby Driver and he's like, "Yeah, I could do this." No, 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 no. It's not about <laughs> driving skill. But we were driving away from the airport and she was like, "She was like, you know, helicopters can't come here." I was like, "Oh." So the theory is you drive to LAX, right? Mm. Go to arrivals because it's usually clearer than departures. All right, you go where there's police. Go straight. <laughs> well, no, because they're not. They, I don't think they calm well. We, we know that for a fact. No, we go to the nearest place with a bunch of cameras. St- Wait, but you're acting like it's a dumb idea. I think if you have mask on, glasses on, you grab a, a, a <gasps> rando suitcase. We get on a flight to Cuba. You get on. You get a, grab a rando suitcase. You you change into whatever fits in there. And then you go on the bus to go back to the LAX flyaway. Mm, LA exit. You would go to the LA exit. <laughs> you go to the LA exit. And then you order an Uber. <laughs> and all, all the police will have to get on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. To get to LA exit. Actually, but you actually order the Uber from the Hyatt next door for the lower oh, fare. For the low fare. Oh. <laughs> That's smart. Because in your getaway, you don't want to spend too much money. <laughs> get the fuck off the LA exit bus, LAPD. <laughs> I have seen old, like, I, I used to watch uh, fucking real TV all the time when I was younger. And it was just like a lot of cop, like, chases. And there's a lot of times where, like, a dude will run into a house. And then run out with a different outfit on, and, 
and they're still following him. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And also, it there's, doesn't work. also you there's uh, Scooby Doo music. Yeah, now. it's so funny. Have you seen the one police video where they're going in the front door and they're like, "Go, get out!" And then they break in, they go in, and the dude jumps out the second, like the second floor. Story, yeah, and he gets away. Yeah, that's such a sick yeah, video. I love that video. There, there's also uh, there was one where he he goes in. Oh, fuck, what was it? I just forgot. Old, 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 um, old, 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 The old, grenade old, hurt old, me old, so old. bad. Yeah, Don't worry well, about it. Grenade of age. I think that we could survive getting chased by the cop. Do you think we could? Like all four of us in a car? Yeah, yeah we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we could survive that. Up, if we, we around you, up, gang. you dense oh, no, no, dumbass. Up. Uh, there was a, I saw one where a guy tried to like steal a car like in Grand Theft Auto. Like he crashed his car and then tried to go up to someone and was just locked. And he couldn't get in. And so it just... <laughs> Had to keep running. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like, think oh. we survive one. We don't really survive Starbucks drive-throughs. That kind of gap. Th- those gap us. You know. What are you talking about? Us four in a Starbucks drive-through. We've is a made struggle. it out of every one. Well, yeah, yeah, it's close we've... every time though. <laughs> every time it's like a nail biter. We haven't been to Starbucks together in so long. We used to do that a lot. You know what changed? Well, we I don't mean, live together. Best, but baby. You did True, change. yeah. That's why I love riding my Vespa. You switched. Do you ride it to the drive-thru? Have you ever done that? Mm-hmm. Many times. You You're switched. Like, and they always go, they always go, do you need like something to carry that with? <laughs> and I'm like, I got Baby, it. Baby, you, like, you rip up your thighs. You're like, I already got all I need. Yeah, or you just <laughs> chug it right there. It's just scalding coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hot crying. black coffee. <laughs> and I sit there for five minutes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I can't drive till it's done. It's not for me. I went, the fuel uh, tank. It's Italian. I went back home uh, this this past weekend in, in Washington. And I decided to go on a bike ride, like while it was raining. <laughs> and uh, this wa- is what's so funny. And it's like it's actually better with the rain pouring. <laughs> yeah, it was coming nice. Bike ride. <laughs> and and I went on a bike ride, so I drove to a coffee shop. I got a chai tea, and I leave. I I leave the coffee shop. It's like dark now. I'm in all black. So I and there's not very many street lights in this town. And I have a chai tea in one hand, and I'm trying to bike with one hand. But every time I go up a curb, I squeeze the chai tea a bit, so chai tea <laughs> squirts he, out he onto my arm. The drums. <laughs> but yeah. I have nowhere to put the tea down, and I don't want it. And it, and it's raining, so I just have to get back. And I am covered in just it. Honestly, and he's looks so like, mad at anyone but himself for this. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, oh, come dude. on, dude! This is I, Claire, I dude. wish I called you when that happened and you answered. Oh, like, oh it's over. Oh, Holy shit. I was on the phone. It is I, not on this episode. I was on the phone with Zipper Three in my in my ear, so I'm trying to talk to her. Every time I go up a curb, by the time I get home, my arm just looks like somebody's kind of come all over it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> Fuck you, you're so old. I mastered one hand Vespaing. That's that dangerous. is worse. Yeah, also no helmet. It makes me aerodynamic. You got it. Don't. No. I Stop. always wear my Stop. helmet. This isn't a great joke. I like. I, I like your meat. You, all I'm to getting put together. My motorcycle license tomorrow. <gasps> Why? Why? Wow, you should have got it before a Vespa. Yeah. <laughs> I told you you did, and you said no, I don't. Uh, it depends on the engine class. Depends on the engine class. Depends on the engine class. He'd always say it, and then we, we all knew it was past the engine class he needed. Meow. No. Meow. I, I, I just know because I had a friend that had the exact same Vespa, and she was like, "You gotta fucking get him to get the goddamn thing." Yeah, I do need the goddamn thing because it goes sixty miles well, a you fucking used to make hour. Fun of me. Yeah, because you're a narc, bitch. Yeah, yeah that's a bit true. You are. Right? That's true. You need that's a true. license yeah, to true. drive this. All right, I'm a fucking libertarian. How about that? All right? Yeah, you drive <laughs> to your thirteen year old child bride. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your, one your of, Vespa that you don't have a license for. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, uh, this is. I'm starting to think you didn't. You you watched the Tim Pool <laughs> podcast because you wanted to. He was like, "Damn, Tim Pool's <laughs> spitting." <laughs> Fuck this Nick guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I need to get my license tomorrow. I took the test. Did I tell you guys about the written test? Because I, no. I, the, the way it, this came about, I was never going to get a license. Does it say if your face is bigger than your hand, you have cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the guy there goes, Boom! And then he's like, you don't fucking get your license. No, I needed to get my license renewed, my actual driver's license. And while I was there, it was like a little program. And I was like, do you want to renew? And I was like, yes. And it's like, are you renewing drivers or drivers and motorcycles? And I was hoping to fucking scam them. So I wrote, I'm renewing my drivers and motorcycles, please. Hoping that the they DMV just... is like new trick. Fuck, we haven't seen this one. Yeah. We should give them a license. <laughs> Look, you've been to a DMV. They're a bit mismanaged. I thought that you might just go <laughs> and then be like, you are now a motorcycler. Uh, but that's not what happened. I did that. And then immediately the lady was like, you need to go take the written test. And I didn't study at all. 
but I have 900 miles in my Vespa, so I was like, I kind of know what to do here. <laughs> I studied uh, street studied. 900 miles. <laughs> I'm a street coffee <laughs> shop and bag, I'm a baby. street scholar, if you will. <laughs> I'm a street scholar. And so I pull up to the test, <laughs> and what's funny is right before the test, this kid comes up to me, and he's like, hey, Ludwig? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, dude, I'm just such a big fan. He's like, with his dad trying to get his driver's license and he like walks over later and he's like dude my friend wants to do youtube can you give him one piece of advice i'm like you want to do youtube don't you <laughs> and then uh <laughs> yeah but yeah. then i pulled through the test <laughs> who's next to me but that fucking same kid and he doesn't even look at me he's so stressed out he's sweating doing mm. his test he's like i love that you always ride a motorcycle that's what I like about you. <laughs> How's hey, the Vespa, Ludwig? Hey, is you, do you have your motorcycle here? That engine class is way higher than a residential kind. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I jump into my test, the written test, and, and immediately I am fucked. Because there's like some that are kind of intuitive. Like if you push left, lean left, and then like what, what direction do you go? Left or right? I'm mm -hmm. like fucking left. Easy. But then other ones are like, if it is raining, does the water accumulate in the middle of the road, in the middle of the lanes, or in the side of the road? Oh, that's such like, a good question. Easy question. <laughs> side, side of the road. Side of the road. That's where it divots. Fucking middle of the road. Yeah, dumbass. Middle what? of the road. I don't know, Aiden. That was the fucking answer. Yeah, because you never took your test because you're not fit to drive an automobile. This, is it because it accum accumulates horizontally? This is an answer only in California because, because it doesn't it rain here and the roads aren't the built middle. properly. Maybe that's, that's my like, theory. It travels there. Oh, because it has to stay on the right side of the road. On, the, on a hill, who has his right of way, up or down? I don't know, bro. Down. It's down. So here's the thing. I, he's, I, more I, he, he's more of a visual learner. And, and then a lot of them are like, if you are, if you, if you have someone to your left, like, should you turn back to shake your blind spot or look in the mirror? And I was like, <clears throat> in my head, I was like, well, I would look back, but they probably want me to look in my mirror. So I hit mirror and they're like, look back. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, every time I get one wrong, it. every time I get one wrong, it tells me the correct answer. And I go next. I get about 20 questions deep on the 22nd question. It's like, eh, eh failed yeah and i'm like Ugh. so i feel bad and then i look at the screen and it goes back to the main menu and it's like would you like to take your driver's test for cars or motorcycles and oh. so i just i like you just remembered the correct answer so i just click it again what and i run the test a second time a different order but a lot of the same questions are popping up and i'm getting them right because i just saw the answer <laughs> dude i get 40 questions deep in this 50 question test <laughs> Failed. I'm like, son of a bitch. Even during one point, I took out my phone just to see what time it was. And the lady was like, hey. And I was like, oh, shit. My, I forgot I can't cheat. And, yeah, and so I yeah. put it away. But the funny thing is, I took the test a third fucking time. Having known the answers because they told me. And I filled them in. And I basically went bar for bar. You just keep respawning at home. Fuck. Enough Groundhog's Days. You, you figure out the motorcycle <laughs> yeah. test. I solve it. I go to the window. And I'm like. I think I did it. And she's like, she checks and she's like, oh, sorry. You actually need to go back and do your car driver's test. I was like, what? that's it? She's like, yeah, you, anytime you do a motorcycle, you have to also pro show, again, proficiency in the like regular driving. Crush that. Knock it out. First try. Thank God. And I go back. And she's like, okay, you're all set. Now all you do is your, your actual uh, physical exam. That's insane. And so you can right now very easily get a motorcycle license. Because then I saw, I'm doing it tomorrow. Michael Reeves has a motorcycle because you need a real motorcycle. I can't use my vest before <clears> it. And uh, he's going to let me use his. And, uh, and the test is a joke. It basically is one giant penis with only one ball. So imagine. <laughs> and they're like, what do you put <laughs> to complete this picture? <laughs> <laughs> What's missing? Uh, it's, so it's this one, appears through a hole in the bathroom. What do you do? <laughs> it's one circle and then a shaft. And you have to drive down one side of the shaft and then go around the circle twice and back up the other side of the shaft. And then you go between cones and then you're done. And the whole thing's in first gear and it's super easy. It's a Los Angeles County penis. And then <laughs> right after you're done riding the LACP, you get to ride on a fucking highway going 70 miles an hour if you Dude, want. Dude, what the fuck? This seems bad. <laughs> Michael has a theory that I believe in and it's that they want to harvest our organs because oh, motorcyclists they want you to die. <laughs> are the largest uh, donors of organs in the state. That's so sad. That's so... Please don't get your organs harvested, man. Motorcycle oh, so you riders don't also organ organ donors. Donors. I don't want him to be a donor. I you think want, if, no, you don't want me to die. If you die in a motorcycle accident, please explode. <laughs> <laughs> I have the thing. I bite down. Yeah. The cyanide. <laughs> don't don't leave anything. Well, a fucking grenade couldn't do it, so I don't think a motorcycle is going to do it. I don't True. want him leaving any scraps for any trinket finders or bone hunters We're at all. We're all kind of like cockroaches, if you think mm. about it. No, we are cockroaches. <laughs> and this jacket is the cockroachiest of all. Listen to me. 
I'd want you to be careful. Dude, stop the Bro, foot thing. Uh, what are you fucking worried about? I ride my Vespa to Starbucks in back, and that's it. He's talking about the motorcycle now. Well, I, I don't have a motorcycle. I just need it yeah, to leave. You're going to drive Michael Reeves. Reeves. Go Michael Reeves' cock and you're, ball you're, adventure. You're, Michael Reeves is going to be on the back of the bike while you're driving. He's going to be hugging you tight, and you're going to want to go to 120 to impress him because you think he's hot. You're so smart. And then you're going to get hurt, and you're going to hurt he Michael. A dirt bike And then you're motorcycle. both going to get harvested. God bless him. <laughs> His motorcycle goes like 70, and then it wobbles. My Vespa matches that. That doesn't make me so I'm feel more oh, safe for you. I didn't realize it's a one target. Oh, it has speed oh, okay, wobbles. You'll be safe. Oh. Guys, I'm literally, I'm literally getting my license. Night. I'm getting my license I so I can ride my Vespa legally. She's worried. Lily, Lily and Cutie will be fucking huh? widowers. You proved that you don't know how to ride one on the road. Ask me any question about a motorcycle at all. What do you do when the <laughs> cock and ball, when the head mm. is cut off from an EMT vehicle? Uh, you, you guys tell me. <laughs> Is that your answer? Fuck, too circumcised fucking... You, oh, you guys would know I see. about the head being cut off. Well, yeah. I hung out well, with... I look, I hung out with a circumcised man today, and I feel seen. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? Azan. We... What, is this uh, your... You, you did, you did is he circumcised? Yeah. What a disappointment. Yeah. Look who's, look who's picking up the slack on the podcast. After reprimanding him, look who decides yeah, to huh? tag fucking in. Fucking little slut for new... <sighs> oh, for, for when you fucking, get asked, oh, it's fine. Hands. I did get fucking turned out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was they, it? They 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 ripped my clothes off and they gave me the ride of a lifetime. And by they, <clears throat> I mean Hassan Anders Gaming. Yeah, and not Will because he's apparently not been on this podcast. Is he the on the podcast? podcast? I haven't. It, this, he's it, dude, anymore. they have the crazy. It's Hassan and Will's podcast. It's called Fear and, which I've told him is a bad name, so I don't mind saying publicly. And they make a shit ton on Patreon. They make like four hundred k a year. Uh, it's like eight k a month. And uh, and Will has not been on in like three, four episodes or something. Let me check their Patreon because I, I I think it's doing like actually super amazingly, and I think that's really cool because we are kind of like the trailblazers. <laughs> it's making whatever four hundred k divided by twelve Fear is. And yeah, Patreon. yeah, they've got all the puzzle pieces. They've got <laughs> they've got a son of Will. They've got numbers? Maybe our numbers. Not, our format. Yeah, I think what you said doesn't equal maybe eight. my numbers. They are make thirty eight k a month. That's what Which I Which is great. 40K. Right. So it, right. it equals 400. Um, but yeah, I went on because here's how this works. Marsh, who produces their March. podcast. Mar March. It's March. Mar yeah. Marsh. No, Mar it's March. Marsh. You March. keep saying Marsh. Marsh. Uh, here's the thing. Marsh. Marsh. I, I asked March Marched. once. What? March and that you don't have to finish the story because I know. And March. he said, "I don't care which one." I said, "I hate that answer." I do hate that answer. He stand up for me, yourself. He told me it's March. What do he tell you? Because you pressed him, right? You no, said, no, I, I hate I, that I, answer and I, I hate pressed you. him. I pressed him. He told I me. pressed him and he didn't give me a straight answer. He said, whatever you want, whatever you think it is. I was hanging out with Marsh Simpson <laughs> and apparently how it works is he, he just thought it would be cool to have me and Atrioc on. Like a, like a, a very unlikely pair, like like season one, episode one, Troy and Abed. Oh, I think it makes sense. That makes sense. And then- Grab uh, the two oldest people in the scene. Throw them in a room. Yeah. Oh my God. And then he was like- uh, and then HR, uh, Cutie messaged us. She was like, Do you guys want to do this? And we were like, Okay. And then we did. And we went on. And that's actually, it was fun. I thought it was fun. Uh, I think it was a fun dynamic. Do you want to, oh, do you want to know something secret about Atrioc? Mm. <laughs> it's not secret. He probably told everybody, but he stayed up that entire night before. He pulled an all nighter playing Hearthstone. Oh, he's been addicted. Like off stream? Yeah. yeah. He's been addicted. Like he was in a dark room grinding Hearthstone to get to Grandmaster or whatever. He will get Grandmaster. <laughs> we knew this. Well, it's it's more that he he stayed up all night knowing he had to do a 10 a.m. podcast and he was like, <clears throat> that's the, fuck it. We that's ball. the main difference and, between Ludd and Atriox is Atriox still games offline. That, well, I was, he was, he was mm -mm. devastatingly <laughs> embarrassed. The main difference is that he lets his gaming get in between his work. <laughs> he, he, yes. no, and I should have heard him. He was in the car talking about it like he fucking cheated on Ari. He was like, I can't fucking believe I did that, bro. Like, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I'm tired. Like, Marketing Monday's gonna suck. I fucking wasted a bunch of time. I'm like, no, it's, this is you. No, this is bad. This is <laughs> real. Bad. No, this is good. No, it's bad. It's for it's a devil on his shoulder. It's for a sponsor. That's why he's doing it. No, it wasn't. Well, he, he doesn't need to get to Legend for the sponsor. Yeah, he does. That's the whole point. Oh, really? Yeah, Wait, that's part of the activation. Is this a leak? Wait, but if he doesn't get there, they won't pay him? Yeah, well, that I guess there's, literally literally can't be there's the no case. time frame on it. There's no time frame but, on it. But they will literally... <laughs> Are they not going to pay him He's if he doesn't get there? He's playing the game. He said it was part Look, of the... Is this a leak? Are we leaking? Maybe. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, hey, it's Atriox. Who cares? Who cares? We'll just keep leaking. Wow. Yeah. Who cares? Oh. Shut, Who cares about, sh shut the fuck up, Atriox. Who cares, Don't like man? But no, passing the most beautiful I, views of our fucking life in the back playing Hearthstone, man. I, I was in the car, and he, he, he's just like fucking freaking out, and I'm like, this is good. I'm glad. I was proud of him. 
because I said because he was like I should I should have been on the uh, like this Elon thing and like this FTX stuff. I should have been making videos because I made one about FTX that I was really proud of because he was like he could explain the situation and other YouTubers were kind of like confused and he was <clears> like <throat> I was proud of that and I was like you grinding Hearthstone all fucking night as a 37 year old man is way more interesting than making a fucking <laughs> video about the news. To me, am no, I, am, you're I vote dumb. on your phones at home. Am I crazy for yes, thinking yes. that makes him more interesting than making a fucking content piece about right. the news? List, list of things that interest slime. All right, motherboards, baseball videos, laying Craw on the floor, crawlies. dirt, crawlies, creepies, that can Critters? all be one. That can all be one. Okay. Uh, bones, 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 materials. Bones. Those are separate. Mm -hmm. Gears. 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 I was going to say gears. And uh, uh, dirt. <laughs> files. And funny and funny videos. videos. Yeah. Farting, Capi farting uh, videos. Happy bars. The videos of farting. Hippos, but baby hippos, not big videos. hippos. Do you like baby hippos better? Yes, that's true. Uh, farting videos. Uh, and Dream S&P videos. He loves them now. Yeah. So what, you're going to fucking tell me that you like, you want to jerk off Rich Campbell because you've been playing Marvel Snap and grinding it? I think so, yeah. I think the idea that, that <laughs> I, the, it, it's just more Damn like rich, Atriok is a guy who you on paper you're like that guy has it together. No, and then I've never thought this. I have, but wait, he obviously has. He worked at Nvidia. He was a high up guy. He has all these things. He has like a beautiful wife who he loves and cares about. He has a fucking house, but yet he can't get away from the fucking I one more actually game. Actually, think him quitting Nvidia was the worst mistake of his life. Even though now we work together, because now the sheen of his professionality you to join you your company. I know. But I'm saying, but the sheen, found a company with you. The sheen of his professionality is gone, and now he's just a waste he's man. He's ultra lord. <laughs> what is that? What? <laughs> I, what? I think this is like the first this time. This is he's it, man. Like, the podcast's over, bro. <laughs> he's cringe. She's cringe now. You're, I the, went, you're I get, cringe. I, I became cringe. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Archie, edit him vanishing from the rest of the podcast. Uh, he. Uh, oh, yeah. fucking love that, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Why He's is back. Archie good? He's back, baby. <laughs> that was a good Archie. I'm so I'm so mad that you guys the are, sheen uh, of professionality has gone because he doesn't have the Nvidia like like hey I work there. He doesn't have to get up in the fucking morning. Yeah, but he also doesn't have like hey no I work here I do this like now like what is he what he's like what are you doing? He's like well I played Hearthstone. <laughs> I mean, I did like one. I YouTube like this video. because the whole trip while we were gone, we talked about a ton of things, right? Because naturally, we just spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together. And he's talking about how he was missing out on so many opportunities to make content while we were there because so many interesting stories like related yeah, he can't mogul to mail. FTX, Twitter, all these things are happening and he can't activate. He can't make the video. <laughs> so he goes home. He's so psyched the whole flight home about like, I'm going to go home. I'm going to grind and make these videos. And he's just playing Hearthstone instead. That's so fucking funny. Poor guy. Hey, Ludwig. Hey kids, you got some. No! <laughs> I'm, yeah, kidding. I'm kidding. This is my fault. I'm kidding. This is my I looked fault. at my Spotify today, and it showed me the amount of monthly listeners. The moment Thanksgiving ended, a very mogul Christmas has skyrocketed, beating Mariah oh. Carey. A true possibility. I yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> you almost. <laughs> you know what else is a real possibility? That your calories are skyrocketing, or Eating. that you're too Ooh. lazy to cook. There's a couple Ooh, of words we could be living in. Shit or you're reading numbers on like the uh, Pinterest recipe you found. It's like a lot of numbers hey, that hurt your head. Hey, fatso. You go to McDonald's <laughs> every day. <laughs> Bigums. And you're hey. not. Anyway, <laughs> you tell yourself every morning you're going to go to the grocery store. You're fucking not. You're, you're not. fucking not going to do it. You're, you're, you're going to go and be like, I need flour because I don't own that. You're going to buy like $40 of flour for one meal. And now you have flour in your fucking pantry that's going to stay there forever. And everyone at school calls you, calls you flour? He doesn't even know how much flour costs. You're it's, make like, it. it's like $100,000. It, it is really expensive that, right now. It can't be that expensive It's expensive though. right Look, now. He said 100000 If mean, you're like me... You don't want to think about portioning. You don't want to think about what you're eating next week. Hello, fresh. They don't, pick all that shit for don't you. Don't think about poor shit again. All yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> that's bars. That was bars. Listen, here's the thing. You you need to shut the fuck up right now and put this in your mouth. <laughs> Truffled mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. prime rib with rosemary juice, uh, oh, or okay. a cherry yes. ricotta shut crostini. <laughs> okay. Put the crostini in your fucking mouth. <laughs> it's not rosemary ju juice. It's rosemary jus. It's French. They probably got both. They got options. They have like thirty plus recipes weekly bro yeah uh, you can you can order recipes that you can easily pronounce or you can get a little challenge Slime, what's the code the core oh, <laughs> he's choking love me what's the code it's the it's the yard 73.2 no, <laughs> it's, no. Hello, <laughs> shut the fuck up. it's hellofresh.com slash the yard 70 sorry our sets fucking destroyed i have to read off my phone hellofresh.com slash the yard 70 for 70 percent off plus free shipping that's kind of cool look what 
Put the crostini in your fucking mouth right now. Are you now. eating rosemary juice perfectly portioned out? <laughs> the yard 70% 70, off? This is festive eats, and I've always said that. Also, he said a couple things about your guys' trip that you didn't reveal. One, he saw your cock and balls. Oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. What the fuck do you mean, oh, yeah? Honestly, it was so, like, like, I... That wasn't even like top ten things on the trip to me. What? what? <laughs> wow! You hear that, Hrock? He was like, you, you were just a notch in the bedpost. <laughs> what? 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 How? Wow. How oh, did he see your? Uh, we're on balls. a dock. Okay, so. Yeah. The- <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Yeah, I see what's bro. going. Hrock. There you wow. go. <laughs> That's not top ten. Queenstown, <laughs> Queenstown, New Zealand is on a lake. It's a glacier lake, and we were gonna. It's a kind of a cold day out, and we were gonna go try and swim. And we're on a dock, me, him, and Sean, and... Sean, uh, the guy you met in a grocery store. Sean is the grocery store guy. So Sean also saw your dick and ball. Sean also saw... Dude, come what? on. Why are you that's showing the, everybody your that's meat? That's not right. Wait, wait, no, maybe this was arranged. Oh. I'll let you stay with me in New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, you like the, you like my podcast? Oh, you want to stay with me in New Zealand? Oh, oh what, maybe we can make a little... Was it like a sexual of, arrangement? Maybe we can make a little arrangement with <laughs> <me> boys. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the boys guy at the airport. <laughs> yeah, he has the accent? Me boys. Oh, is that Carl Amrin? Me boys yeah, and me berries. <laughs> me cock and me balls. I want to see a little berries. I saw a little <laughs> berries. I, I saw a tweet today that was like... Uh, Eight shitting, uh, no, love shitting, eight wiping. Simple as. And I was like, that was pretty good. Okay, so continue. <laughs> There's not really a story here. I just fucking, I took off You've my shorts and jumped in the it. lake. That's it. Did they do that also? You were the two, right? Were they the first well, one? I only, had first one, one I only had one layer on. I was the first one to do it. I said, I, I in my, because in my head, I was like, if I commit to this, uh, if I, because I will have no choice but to jump into the water because it's like ice cold water. And I did it. You don't have enough <laughs> dick to jump in ice cold that's water what and then HR have people said. see what you're that's rocking. The whole, that's not what HR the, said. That's the whole point. The ice cold water. I I'm I'm rocking a one incher in this <laughs> ice. See, <laughs> Rock said it was cold and he was looking good. <laughs> Dude, it's like that's the opposite like of a, what he said on stream, uh, which is uh, that you, you can tell it was cold. Uh, you come out, you come out of the ice cold water with like literally a micro penis, <laughs> and you're like, oh, the water, no. <laughs> My what the hell? Dude, it's never like that. Yeah, I went, I went full, full Seinfeld mode on it. I was, I really let them indulge. It's got a little North no, Face it was on fucking, it. I, 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 I was naked for maybe a total of fifteen seconds. Micro penises look like those like up close bacteria, like electron microscope. The guy pictures. from the Muse the Next commercial. <laughs> 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 you guys ever go on micro penis like uh, the micro forums. Penis side of the web yeah. The forums? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't for sure. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, so you have. Okay. He, oh, he, yeah. What he also said about Aiden Gaming that he's baby crazy and he wants to settle down and have a family full no, of babies. No, you can't say this cuz she'll listen to it. What? She'll listen Zipper to tweet, it. He wants babies. No, now. you got dude, fever. I Why do you have baby I don't. fever? I Why do you have little guys? I just all I said was, I think I want to have kids in my life. I didn't say it was sometimes he, soon. We're driving again. I'm, I'm like this. He's like, man, he's just like crazy about babies. Yeah. I was like, what? Really? He's like, yeah. Not having like, him. Not what, having him though. That's that, the weird part. Was that like three babies? And I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't even say that. I didn't give a quantity at any point. Oh, um, man. He's fucking, he wants a family. No, she, I'm going to get so many texts when this episode comes out. This is, I don't like this. But there was that. And then the final thing he said, it was really, really interesting. He said, Aiden doesn't want anything. And I'm like, what do you mean, Atrock? He's like, he doesn't. He doesn't like want or like need anything. Like he's just having a good time. I'm like, well, what do you want? He's like, I want more money. Yeah. And I'm like, that's crazy. And he's like, I was like, does the number just make you feel better? He's like, yeah, I like the number. And I was like, okay, well, I'm dropping you off now. <laughs> no, go play. I love that. And he went home and he played Hearthstone more. He didn't go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm about the grind. In a way, it's for money. Cash. In a way, it's for money. I don't think it's about the money for Hearthstone. <laughs> he likes it. He can pretend it's for the money. But that's what he said. I, he was like, I can't wait to get home and fucking play more Hearthstone. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? You're not going to sleep? He's like, no, bro. I'm three wins away from Legend. And I, I, need, I, I will get Is Legend them. the highest rank? Yeah, it's like Grandmaster or whatever. Okay. Can you get it that fast? Oh, the horse he's back. Yeah, well, it's not that fast. I think he's he grinding a lot. like eight hours a day for a month straight. I mean, he was grinding in news net news Zed. Yeah. You know? NZ. Anyway, I thought that was funny that you're baby crazy. He's money hungry. Mm-hmm. He saw your cock and balls, which mm-hmm. looked like a bacteria on an electron microscope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, They're and- so small when they get that cold. I'm not 
Dude, my shit looked like a dirty little. <laughs> my shit looked like the end of a hot dog. <laughs> if I ever, <laughs> if, <laughs> if like my you shit cut it in in the end piece, just the end it's piece, all wrinkled. Yeah. yeah. If, <laughs> if my shit ever leaked, I would want it to be a picture of when my dick and balls are like that. You know when you do the thing in the shower, where you like you try to make it as embarrassing as small yeah, as you yeah, can. Yeah. It looks like that unironically <laughs> sometimes, which is, which and then is you're hard. Like, it's hard I'm in the not shower. Right now. It's hard in the shower because it's warm. <laughs> no, but you can still like crunch it up. No, in I'm your saying body when you crunch it with your fingers. And, like, and like you're like, yeah, you look, put, I got the uh, Maybe this is an uncircumcised thing. Yeah, so yeah, whatever. Sometimes I pull up my sack and then I cover everything. <laughs> and it looks, you're not special. I do that too. You it put looks it in a backpack. Like brain from mother. <laughs> yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. I, I know all the tricks of the trade. <laughs> you put it on See, the glass of the shower and you try to make the, the biggest print. You ever tried that one? Oh, I've never done That's that. That's a good one. It's I've good, always had shower one. curtains is why. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, my only... Poor people problems. <laughs> <laughs> my only consumption of TikTok is Zipper 3 saving TikToks for me. We have, we have TikTok time where we, you know, she saves TikToks. I'm coming for a, that bitch. And then once, uh, once a week. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> no. Wait. Oh, oh, you're talking about, yeah, it, it is your thing. Yeah, I was like, you're going to send him TikToks? It's so sweet. That's kind of our no. thing. It's like, kind of no. our thing. TikTok time is my <laughs> thing. It's TikTok time. You send, you send her a cease and desist in the <laughs> mail <laughs> at her house. Mm -hmm. She's like, find a new fucking name. Why did Ludwig send me this? Find a new goddamn name. <laughs> she TikTok she saves the TikToks, and then uh, she was going through them, because she she had a bunch after the trip that we that we could go through. And she had this one video of... An armadillo eating fruit, and we're watching the beginning of it, <laughs> and she's like, thing. she's like, why did I save this? And it's oh, like, it remind me of your penis, right? That's what she said. Yeah. Right that's what she said. Yeah, she's like, she's like, oh, it was because I think it, he looks like your penis. I was, kidding. was it a baby armadillo? <laughs> yeah. It's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. He's like, well, you mean like, like what it would look like later in life? Yeah. Right? Like She's when like, it's no, a big like, grown adult armadillo. Now, like, like, like the size on the screen too. Like, not like the real sort of armadillo. Like the. And I was like, well, talking about my yeah. iPhone Mini. Can it be like an <laughs> and I have a touch. So <laughs> I still have a touch. I was, I joke with Josh because his phone like doesn't have service. He's like Miles when he's here. Like he doesn't oh. pay for service. But his phone is just a glorified iPod Touch. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Uh, it's he's just a useless. Yeah, he's playing music quiz on it and Pong. <laughs> and then going to random places outside and hoping Wi-Fi connects. Dude, he did a uh, Lime again, man. He's Aw, dude. He he's got really lime drunk. Again. This is He bad. got second at Verdugo. He said he figured out fiction, which is really exciting. Fiction got first? Uh, yeah. Or not Verdugo, it was Lawless. Verdugo was tonight. While training for a fight? Fiction could rock his shit, You bro. gotta get that boy off no, the line. at Melee. I, yeah, I know. I'm just uh, saying outside uh, yeah, of this. Josh is no, a broken I'm, I'm arm saying Ludwig. while he's training for a fight, he's <laughs> winning melee tournament. Dude. Kind of based. You see Fiction? Based. You see Fiction's mirror pick? He looks great. He looks kind of yeah. He's, he's in base. Tight bod. Tight, nice form. Thick, solid, tight. Uh, but yeah, anyway, he, facts, Josh gets second. He I go home early, and he he goes on this like adventure. He goes drinking. He comes home drunk. He's like, I put lime in my eye again. I'm like, that's bad. Dude, we <laughs> love you, man. Yeah. I, li I like how this is like your son who's who's a drug <laughs> addict, but he's squirting limes in his eye. Yeah, and I was like, again, bro. He's like, it was bad. <laughs> God. Uh, and so that was fun, but yeah, that's. Just how was your Thanksgiving with Joshy? What did we do? Oh yeah, nice. we went. We went to uh, Aiden's. Oh, you were there. Yeah, we went yeah. to Aiden's and we we played Kingdom Hearts three. Aiden's house, not not his home. Right. And which did your sucks. mom come? No, no. I mom, went. His, I went the next day to Washington. His beautiful Friday. mom did not show up to Thanksgiving. Blake. and I was tortured by them or by the fact by that the she was there. That she wasn't there to light up the room. My mom was busy. She was working. Yeah, she was busy. She's working. She was lighting up another room. <laughs> That, that's kind of sweet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's kind of nice. Everywhere she goes, she's 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 like she's like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> God. God. Whoa. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> this is getting too real. <laughs> There's a dad in the situation still. It's not like me. Yeah. And he, he watches every and episode. He's always <laughs> flying a plane. So what the fuck? You know what I'm No, what she uh she didn't show up. But yeah, we hung out, we played we we ate rotisserie chickens and mm. uh and bagels. And we played Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm five hours in. It fucking sucks. It's fucking miserable. I wish I was better. And um, that's pretty much at it. At the game? No, I wish the game, the was, game better. was better. Oh, it was oh like, you bro, said I was better. Pro, yeah. No, I, I said I wish just press it, triangle. it was better. Yeah, and you can get in the teacups and then fucking go. Did you ride the roller coaster? You rode the roller coaster yet? It's so fucking miserable. But the cutscene <laughs> where he runs up Mount Olympus is fun. It is cool. Yes, it is cool. Some dubs in there. There's a couple dubs, but I'm in Tour Story Land now, and I'm I like, hate I don't want to. Can they should have just been Andy's house? 
Yeah. Why the fuck did they make Toy Story Land a random ass mall? And now I have to press triangle some more. So I'm not happy about that. Explore the world that I like. You play the Toy Story N64 game? No, I played the Sega Genesis game. I've played the Toy Story PC game, and that was that. I remember those streams. Yeah, those were good times. No, well, that was Toy Story three. Probably the same game, or no? Uh, no shot. It's three. No, it was not three. It was Toy Story on PC. Basically, they fucked Kingdom Hearts like a pig. Hmm. In the street, mm. my font is one of my fondest memories is playing Kingdom Hearts with Ludwig or watching him play it in his apartment. That's also Zeke's fondest memory with Ludwig. Kingdom Hearts, where it all we're like comes Eskimo together. sisters, yeah, mm. with Ludwig. You can't Inuit, you can't say that. Oh, is it bad? It's bad. Uh, I learned that I got yelled at and I, I learned and I'm better now. Uh, what's is, how can I make it better? Okay. You know what else you can't say? We're like, uh, we're like two, we're, we're like two <laughs> people that fuck Ludwig. I was not about to say something. <laughs> I, was, I was set up like I was about to say something terrible. You can't, I can't say what type of dog. I can't, I can't say. I can't say what type of dog. <laughs> See, that clip is so good. Kanye, yeah. can, Kanye continuing to be a genius. Also, again, this is going to be fucking also, se- seven goofy. year old. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. Uh, we can't, we, this is gonna be seven year old news by the time it hits, but the fucking Elon Musk tweet with the fucking revolver and the Diet Cokes? Caffeine free Diet Coke. Isn't that insane? I, I think it's What fake. the fuck is going I on? I think he just found that picture and just tweeted it and said that. I don't then think That is the funniest thing he's ever done. And I can't believe that that, ha- that happened then. I don't know what you're Caffeine free is a beautiful touch. You haven't touch. seen it? No. Bro. It's it's actually uh, unreal. I thought it was tea. a shit post and then I like had to uh, like double check. He tweeted, he tweeted uh, like my bedside table. And it's a picture of four presumably empty caffeine-free golden Diet Cokes and like a revolver <laughs> and like a must. Like a, yeah, and a like modern a, revolver and then like a revolution style like pistol. Yeah, that's tight. Uh, I'll tell you what, you know, the only thing I hate about the Twitter thing is everyone who's posting their alternative Twitter, like just in case. Oh, yeah. Like, you're not fucking leaving. You're not going some, anywhere. Someone just messaged me. Uh. Hey, sorry to bother just letting you know you're mentioned in the Chuckle Sandwich podcast at around 25 minutes, if in case you want to check it out. It's a good segment. We don't have a fucking TV anymore, dude. Don't Bro, worry. I didn't know that. Why are you mad? You, yeah, it's your you're, fault. You ruined the you TV. You stole the monkey. You'd normally be able to play. Dare you? Why are you, yeah, you, you, you yeah, about that? Luke. Don't know. Luke, we're on your side to be clear. Yeah, Luke, thank you for bringing Luke. it up. Sorry that piece of Anthony. shit. Okay, that seems uncalled for. Fuck you. Okay. Chocolate's dead, and you guys don't even give a shit. No, correct. Why? Yeah. It's a cute monkey. Because it was cute. Well, cute monkey. It was cute. It's your fault. Don't give this to him. What, what is you... a cute monkey? Mm, monkey, cute, monkey. cute monkey. Learned a lot about shooting with a monkey. <laughs> I mean, if we want to break the... We want to break the fourth wall about the monkey. <laughs> I mean, I feel like... Hey, we can save for the Prima or something. <laughs> Never mind, it was real! <laughs> uh, I did the, the photo shoot for Chess Boxing March today. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> and... We're all messed up. Well, before I did the shoot, though, I needed, like, to fix my haircut. Because I had the bowl cut from the, the glass box stream. <laughs> and so I went to, I went to Supercuts, Great Clips, one of those, I forget. Because that's where I always go Come now. Come on, you got a rep. You I can't not know which one. Well, it, like I saying Coke and Pepsi are the same. They I are. was hanging out with the they Bloods are. or the Crips. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep of a war between yeah, Great I mean, uh, You don't know shit, bro. You're talking about Supercuts in the wrong <laughs> spot. They've, they've, been, they've been fucking up hairlines for years. You've, you've <laughs> never listened to Corrupt's song about Supercuts? <laughs> I go to Supercuts for three reasons. One, they always gave a consistent 6.5 out of 10 haircut that I can rely on. Right. Two, 6.5 is I, I can what you walk want. in and get it done whenever I want with no weight because nobody's going to supercuts right and three it's like 22 dollars all in so it's and you get a lolly and i get a lolly i get a free sucker you get a what <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. You Damn. so I, I go to supercuts i get my cut i show up to the shoot i did my hair before and uh and i'm there and i'm and i'm like talking about it and then hugs was there because he's he's competing in the event and he was part of the photo shoot he's like no fucking way he went to supercuts and uh and, and then stans just laughs out loud in the, and they were arguing about it, and he didn't believe because how good it looked, because of how nice my supercuts hair looked. Let's go. Because here's my theory: is that it doesn't matter when you craft your hair at the end of the day with a blow dryer. You also have like really great hair that's hard to fuck up. That I will say, the only thing that sucks is the hairdresser kind of dogged me. <clears throat> She's like, "Do you want to color it?" I was like, "No, I just, it's just like I'm gonna let it grow out." She's like, "Okay, next time make sure to use hydrating conditioner and leave nah. it in." And I was like, <laughs> "You what should take the a fucking heck? hit, bro." What oh. the hell? 
Your shit looked dry? Movie. Apparently it was dry. I thought it looked Damn. good. Felt yeah. good. This shit looked like fucking Christmas Eve Don't on, pipe her, up. on yeah. her collar. Don't pipe up. Don't I, pipe uh, up? I got a lotioned head. Don't pipe up, bro. <laughs> I, what are you don't before pipe up? before Mogul Money Live, um, my my hairdresser was like, "Do you want me to like uh like fix your eyebrows?" And I was like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "What do you what do you mean?" She's like, "You they look like fucking." Caterpillars. She's like, "You don't have to, but like, like I just like feel like you should darken them." And I was mm. like, "And I I have not been able to unthink about that." Wow, yeah. uh, she gave you a complex. She was like, "Am I like, there too light? What do I?" Do? <laughs> I've never <laughs> had to think about this ever. Mm. You know, uh, did you get them darkened for the show? I did. I was like, sure, do it. Fuck it. <laughs> you had like no that. one noticed except for Zipper Two, who instantly saw me and said, "What did they do to your face?" <gasps> Dude, mm. was she happy about it or not? She was like, oh, yeah. "That's like lip <laughs> injections for <laughs> men." Care. Yeah, eyebrow darkening. I oh, had this jerk. conversation with Crush a long time ago because Crush was a bit of a was a bit of a tender demon. Oh, and, uh, I can imagine. Where yeah, did you as, got that name? Mm. <laughs> Just crushing shit. And I, I. Asked him, I was like, what's your, like, what's your, like, most successful opener? And you can never really tell when he was being serious about things. But he said, uh, nice eyebrows, wanna fuck. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> so I sent dude, that like, to you somebody. Make, dude, you, make crush, foot handsome Chad. you make Crush, like, 75% worse at Fox, and he's cringe. But, uh, he, but, he's, but he's so good at Fox that everything he does is dope. Well, this hell. is also outside the realm of his Fox, and it, it sounds, according to the story, like it succeeded. There's a guy <laughs> named Dave who played a nasty sheik who disappeared to leave the community of Melee, and everyone was, like, uh, sad about it, but we honorarily would never pick Donkey Kong in games that included Donkey Kong, like Mario, Mario Kart Party or Mario 4, Party, yeah. because the memory of Dave, and people wouldn't even meet him. We're like, uh, yeah, like they would go to pick DK and immediately no, no, they'd get that. flamed, and then, and then they'd be like, okay, and people would not pick Donkey Kong for a guy named Dave that they never met. I have never seen Donkey Kong on the Mario Party setup ever, and you've never met Dave, and I've never. I met assume Dave, none yeah. of you've yeah, met Dave. I, no, I, Dude, I remember. It's I remember, just a rule. I played. Uh, I was on in this story. Me and um, me and Millie were playing Mario Party versus Ben and some teammate at Smash Camp, and we're the, Millie's like, I've never played this one, and I'm like, it's all good. You got my get in my back. We're gonna make this work. And uh, and Millie uh, instantly goes and picks Donkey Kong, and everyone looks over. I'm like, I'm like, man, you can't, you can't. Do <laughs> and he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, I can't do that, right? Of course. All right, who do I pick? <laughs> and he's like, so upset. And the same setup, we we are we end up clobbering them, and we're like halfway through this match. And the CRT, uh, it has this speaker that's like a mesh, like a mesh speaker, and it's like it had, clearly someone has punched it because there's a big gaping hole in it, and it's like there's like pieces jarring out. Ben is so drunk and so mad that he's losing this game. He reaches out and he takes a a piece of like not like a tiny piece, like a big piece of the TV. He rips it off and then he just eats it. He just eats the CRT plastic, and starts <laughs> chewing it. He's like, crunch. "You can't crunch it. It's pla it's hard plastic." Yeah. It's just, he's just kind of like like popcorn kernels, just like biting oh. on it, and then he swallows it whole. Oh. And I'm like, "Dude, what Chad. a warrior! That's not, that's not good. That's great." Then it's just he. It's he, gonna come out like the way it went in. It's just like a. It's like a. It's like a shoe nice sampler. <laughs> the sh you know? the shoe nice flight. <laughs> yeah, like, can I get a flight of crud? <laughs> Plastics and crud and micro yeah, fibers. Yeah. What's weird is growing up and then seeing people also grow up because I've seen Ben at his most degenerate and then I Facetime him like a week or two ago and he's with his girlfriend in bed and he's like being very cute and his hair's combed over and they were like clearly watching some like you know Hallmark some movie fun movie yeah and then he's like he's like early night for me you know just hanging out with the girlfriend like she pan it pans over and she's like hi what what happened to your hair and and I'm thinking in the back of my head I was like man I've seen him like fucking light up a cigarette punch a CRT and then eat it whole. yeah yeah <laughs> like he would eat burning things I felt or at least put things in his mouth all the time he's just a he's a baby yeah that's how he <laughs> discovers the world I, I once won so many mini games in a row he wrapped his penis around his thumb and showed me it <laughs> oh, yeah, <the> <laughs> yeah. I love <laughs> oh man, you do that. You do that at the, at, at the bar. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, good oh, times. Good man. times. It's good times. <laughs> what? Do you like? Do you like this? Wrong. No. Why not? I don't like your grippers being in shot. Why? Your grippers are a problem. Yeah, they're all dusty. And yeah, dirty. Uh, you got fucking what about your yucky, grippers? yucky grippers. I don't want to show them anymore. <laughs> yeah, you did get your heart broken. No, they got exploded. Got his toes in fucking a, blown explosion. off. Well, also before that though, you well, were, yeah, you yeah, were yeah, a little shame before. Run up, done up by George, not did, I, did I ever say how uh, at the at your birthday party, um, 
that when Cutie had that whole like spread at the <clears> house <throat> and stuff, uh, there was like lobster, and me and Mike took turns eating lobster shell as like chicken. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we like we thought it, he, we we started doing this bit where it's like, oh, you gotta eat the shell. The shell's the best part. Oh, you told me this. <laughs> and he yeah, fucking, and he just puts lobster, <laughs> he puts like shell in his mouth, and he just starts crunching it, just staring oh. at me. And he's like, mm, love it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I can't let him get this away is an with Aiden this. Bit. Yeah, it is kind of an aid of it. But I was like, I can't let him get away with this. And so I put like a bunch of lobster shell in my mouth and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> and it's just like gnarled. You're machine. supposed to swallow him whole. Oh, oh. You're supposed to swallow him whole. Yeah. <laughs> There's oh a my lobster God. like and shape going down. Me and Mike, I think that was like, I, I, I truly saw us as like the strongest warriors in that moment. Because <laughs> we were just like cutting our mouths up for the fucking bit and we didn't want to back down. Yeah, you're a warrior for and that. And we ended up yeah. swallowing lobster No, it's shots. super brave. Uh, and that guy handles your merch orders, so. <laughs> you, then the Marines. <laughs> I'm saying. Do you know how chest boxing works? Chest boxing, what Does is that? Does anyone here know how it works? Uh, yeah. You, I think I do. Roughly. Yeah. Tell me, Ludwig. How do you think it? Do you? How do you yeah, think it works? Bro, you, you play fucking box you, one round. You, yeah, you play a round of chess and a round of boxing, and you win by either checkmate or knockout. Right. I mean, it's a minute of chess, right? Or I guess TKO. It's, it's a bullet, right? How long is the chess? It's a minute. Right. It, I thought it was three no, minutes. No, there's no way. It's a, no way it's a minute. Chess has got like ten minutes. Okay, I've realized I've failed. <laughs> I've failed because I don't think anybody really knows how it works. It's just okay. like, yeah, you play a bit of fucking chess and you punch each other and fuck. I don't know. Someone comes up. I mean, minute. it sounds intuitive. Is it not? <clears throat> no, it's pretty intuitive. Did I not I nail it? There's it. You're close. Yeah, I think the the way it works is there's uh, a round of chess that's two minutes long, and the total time that each uh, person has on their clock is five minutes. So if it reaches zero, you lose. And then each boxing round is ninety seconds. And then you switch. So you do two minutes chess, ninety seconds boxing, two minutes chess, ninety seconds boxing. Oh, so uh, chess two minutes chess, boxing. ninety seconds boxing. It's three rounds of boxing total. And then the fourth round of chess is the final round, and it's four right, minutes because you because you had a total of eight minutes, and then yeah. And then the last round's four mm. minutes, so someone will have to win by timeout. Yeah. By the end of it. Okay. Right? But I think I've done a bad job explaining it because you guys don't know, and we talk. We talk. We talk quite when a bit. When have you explained it? You know what? And that's what I'm realizing too is a problem. I haven't. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I, yeah. But I, here's yeah. the thing. I, if I'm just like Joe Dumbass, the viewer.com, I'm just like, well, you chess and then you box. Like, snuff said. <laughs> right? I guess it is mostly it. You know what I'm and saying? If, I don't need to know how much time. If you think <laughs> that sounds like a good time, chess boxing is on December 11th in Los Angeles. Play, look, Where I'll can me, they I'll buy be, tickets, Ludwig? Let me rephrase. We'll all be there. Please fucking come. <laughs> Please buy the tickets. <laughs> we need also, some tickets Nick, Nick. Also, look, I need to shill because <gasps> Nick... Uh, are you farting? What's happening? Are you no, don't say, Did you not control it? Don't say my name and then do <laughs> that. <laughs> like, it's like it's pulsary. You just started farting like you couldn't I handle just, your I own body. I was just started thinking it, about it. It fed through the lines of your chair. Like, yeah. Like Mr. Potato Head's hair. It, 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 where was I going? It softened the acoustics of it. Okay, what? Me, Nick... Uh, other people have worked really hard on this merch project for a long time. We have we started I think, like over a year. I ago. think literally, the, it's not yard merch. It's technically Ludwig merch. It is probably. I think it's the sickest merch we have ever done. And we cooler than the last yard drop. What do you think? I think it is. By it depends on bit. what you're into. This is Are my thing. Yeah, it depends fucking, what you yeah. like. Are you into chess I or think cars? this is the coolest pussy. job we've done. It, it, they're comparable for okay. sure. Yeah. But, the, but like you the, dogged it right there. It's the <laughs> best. As I'll say, it's the best detail work we've ever done. Yeah, I think it's the best overall. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it was great. Here's I saw the thing. It I think that's a fair conclusion. I think it's cool, but I also think chess is like snoring. There's also boxing. There's also boxing though. That's boxing the whole cool. idea. You get to pick which side you like best. It's like the hero in Dark Story in Sonic. But we'll show it off really soon. Uh, basically it's like a fucking hoodie with fucking chains for the hoodie string and it has like chess pieces or boxing gloves and it looks really cool and we, you can buy it at the event or you Look, can buy it online. show up to the event. It's December 11th in LA at the Look, Galen Center. if Go we to don't sell it, I will kill myself in your home. Go to Ludwig.gg, use code Ludwig and it will kill himself in your home. It's like one of those like phase meet your fan videos where it's like I met a fan at their house and they surprise him and you go and you <laughs> instantly like, kill yourself. It's the phase video where they go to a GameStop but they kill uh, themselves. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do it. Warp. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do it. at a GameStop. 
in the pantry so that maybe like the next morning you find me because like Durs is <laughs> nibbling on me a little bit. Ew. Durs would eat you. Ew. He's Durs would never. Take no. Take a, no. And if also, you don't Coop, want Coop's that, all over. and if Durs you don't want anyway. that, please buy the chest. If you merch. buy, if you buy this merch, Aiden will at the Galen Center f- put it on your body with his hands. I won't touch He'll you. Do it. I won't, won't, won't do that. Won't touch I won't do that. I'm saying right now that he, without you. a doubt he He'll, will. And I won't Aiden do will it. Strangle one of you. And he's joking. To death. Please tell them where to buy tickets for the boxing. Ludwig.gg code Ludwig. Ludwig.gg code Ludwig. Also, uh, and we'll, we'll all Ludwig be there. We'll all be there. 10% you off. can meet us. <gasps> I can commentate. You said I could commentate. Slime Lauren will numbers. be able to commentate. You, Lauren numbers. If, if you bump into us, we'll take a photo and and the yard live. Oh fuck it. Who cares? And uh. And there's uh, gonna be at, uh, Elon Musk. And then, no! Oh, no, dude. He's gonna live. Tweet. And you can pay crypto for merch, <laughs> but it's NFT merch <laughs> for your monkey. Yeah, right, we lost chocolate them all. is on it. Chocolate will be revived. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> as an chocolate NFT, NFT. Yes. live forever. Anyway, come. come um, ahead. Yeah, I was. T- you know, it was funny. They brought up on the fear and great name. Fear and uh, <laughs> they were talking about how I, I was saying like. You know, I was joking mostly, but kind of not. Like, I exist. What, you're holding out on us? I gave it back to you him. You got a little he got a rice little sweet treat. You got a little rice cribby? I want a little rice You want a cribby? I have one bite of rice cribby. Mm. Thanks, Dad. I'll give it back. Uh, they were saying, because I was like, I'm fucking outside of the Matrix. Like, you guys are fucking content creators. I fucking talk shit. Like, I fucking hate yeah. when people are annoying to me. And uh, Accepted and, the invite. And they're razzing me and stuff, and it's all good. But they did bring up a good point, is that, do, do you... Th- Hassan said that our podcast was more of a friendship simulator than anything because I asked him like what's the point of your podcast he's like I don't really have one I was like okay well that seems like a problem and I made fun of him for it but he's like what's the point of yours and I was like it's also a good question is it just the friendship between us and then question is are we selling a piece of that friendship to the viewer I have, discuss. A, I have a good answer let me hop in first yep <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then yeah. we we what we do is we offer it for free, and then we sell them through the power of advertisers on products they'll buy in the future. Are we hypocrites? Uh, mm-hmm. I still. I, I wait. Do you want my real answer? Wait. In what? Yeah, I do. Wait. In what? You asked that like you mm-hmm. already have an idea of how we are <laughs> hypocrites, though. Do uh, you? I feel like if if we follow that logic train, I am a hypocrite because I am against the machine, but yet I benefit from the machine which i think about all the time hey haven't but, you been uh, benefiting from the machine always it's different when you're behind the scene because you you can do a job for any <clears throat> machine and be like machines fucked up right but like i'm i'm operating the machine i'm so lost i think you can be a worker for amazon that makes 15 an hour but you are not the evil of amazon but once you get this close to jeff bezos when you're in a you podcast with jeff start... bezos and you're washing his bald head yeah and, and, fucking, and what were they claiming the evil was? Was parasocial relationships? Well, ultimately, that the yard itself is like is also a podcast about nothing, like a, your Seinfeld. Uh, but the fact that the reason that we have a draw because we're all very close friends, and that is that is an appeal that Ye- makes it different from other podcasts, right? I think it makes it better. But is that something we are selling? To me, to me, I'm genuinely, I don't to me, know. The I don't think about us. To me, the way. concept of the show was like less about like a yard that we literally spent time in, and more about that idea of you're hanging out with your friends, and you all spill out into the backyard, and you have memories there. Kind of like a how people say like you have the best conversations in the jacuzzi type of type. Or beat. yeah, that glass patio. And, for and and the the was, what? Yeah, you thing. never heard that before. Never. I have also never heard that. It's also the, the, the glass patio, like the best conversations. But those are the on worst this. conversations because it's just, just some dude who smoked a bunch of weed. He's talking yeah, about the stars. Yeah, and he's just like, bro, have you noticed them? Have you ever looked up and noticed? <laughs> Do them? you uh, believe t- in God? <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry. So uh, we synthesized that. And we turned it into something visual while inserting ourselves as friends and being what we think we thought we might be good at and turning it into something that we like doing. And then we're sharing that. But but when I think about my job on this podcast and all of our jobs, I guess, because I'm very linear, is like my job is to be Slurms McKenzie, put the fucking glasses on and be funny. Like that is it. Right. Like and so I don't think about these like other factors of like if we're selling a friendship like a friendship simulator, which most podcasts are in general. You just want to listen to people talk. That's like a human thing. Um, and I was wondering what you guys think about that. If at all. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to smoke. Uh, 
<laughs> you, you don't get to do this and then also Yo, be weird. Yo, Nick Fuentes, pass the blunt. <laughs> hold it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, you just hold it. It's just burning, man. Yeah, I don't think people are watching Nick for the parasocial dynamic. Uh, it's obviously. Uh, actually, different. maybe they are. Look, here's the thing about it, Sweaty. A lot of the people just want to pass a certain amount of time on a commute, and this is entertaining enough. But yeah, we probably are. Being parasocial in cringe. Do you think that I'm base for rallying no. against the machine? <laughs> nope. No, no, I could yeah, be self aware. Yeah, man, you're being an asshole. You're, you're being an asshole. You're base. You're being. Th- you're not an asshole anymore. You're let's, being an asshole. Let's imagine you worked at Northrum <laughs> Gunship. Just tell him he's based. <laughs> and, and that sounds like a British person. I'm not saying. trying to be convinced. By let's let's I think I grapple with this fine. You, you worked at Northrum's Gunship, yeah. and you were like, and you were like, you know what? I actually, and you were so outspoken about how bad it was. Still fucking working there. You're still working there. You're, you know Wait, what I mean? Mm-hmm. But what if I'm... <laughs> what? what? Get there, man. What if I'm the $15 an hour worker but, at Lockheed? You know what and, I'm saying? And you're like putting bolts onto missiles? And I'm putting the bolts on... I think that's an evil enough company and there's enough uh, other options like, that you don't have you to... Yeah, 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 I say that, in. I, I say that not to friend. equivocate Lockheed and Amazon. We're I'm in just, a great I'm just job asking. market right what now. What I'm saying is you're, you haven't struggled for rent in years. <laughs> screwed it on the bolt on you're like... Where do you think this thing's going? <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 where do you think they're putting this you think thing? These fuckers gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> they blow these up. <laughs> That's great. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> this fucking thing. <laughs> well, I also don't think that uh, maybe I'm wrong for this, but I think the bottom guy at Lockheed is making more than the bottom guy at Amazon. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, I don't think it's like a fifteen an hour at Lockheed. They all you're make probably, less than an eight an hour. Probably, worker, bro. It's like you don't. Yeah, true shit. And now workers get paid. And now workers will be buried in sarcophagus. You're not taking a motorcycle test and then screwing in the <laughs> screwing in the bomb. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, was just, I I thought it was interesting because I rarely am able to observe us from an outside perspective because I don't put ca- your fucking grippers away. Care enough to do it? Hi. No, hi. Don't. Let the number. I'll hurt you. They're just then, feet, uh, man. And then they said that, and I was like, "That's a good question. What are we about?" For me, it's always been. We just got to be funny, and that's literally it. I no, but the, the dynamic of being funny, like, it is so reliant and embedded in the fact that we are friends, right? You can't, it's not a stand up routine. For you. you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't know you fuckers, I'd, I'd still be fucking trying my heart. I'd be slurring with Kenzie, dancing with the little speaker. We would have removed you by now, I think. No, but what I'm saying, yes, we didn't, but, we didn't know you. but what I'm saying is, I would, no, because I would have been funny, because the people would have been outraged. <laughs> <laughs> I am a god. I don't know. You guys are, don't get introspective, huh? No. I, I, clock <laughs> in, I clock in two and a half you hours a week. You just shut down my introspection. <laughs> Sorry, I did. What? Go ahead. No, I, it, it, you, you clearly understand that the way we are funny, <laughs> like collectively, maybe not you as an individual. But the collective experience of the show is about the person listening is like it's like them being the fifth person in the room with like their friends going back and forth bantering, trying to like capture that good feeling that you have with your own friends, like on on sleepovers when you were growing up and yeah. out back at the ha- shitty house you had in college and sure. like those type of things. I don't think you can separate that dynamic like we can't just do four separate stand up, you know, performances uh, here. Yeah. Fuck you for bringing this up, because now I'm going to have to go in our goddamn Discord server what? and look at the dumbest conversation about this ever. That's fine. That's going to happen let, now, let, and I'm going to read that, cook. and I'm going to be so, so mad. Yeah, I'm all cooking there, bro. You hate you. when they cook. You hate mm-hmm. when they cook, because you're cook- they cook up that good mm-hmm. lunch. They're coming to Nick's They're, zone. They're coming to Nick's zone and be like, effortlessly. Yeah, I disagree with Slime. Me and you, bro. I think the same as you, bro. I'm like, Shut it up. It's kind of funny, right? Shut up. Cause you're pro- I, well, okay. This is the last thing I'll say is like, I think that back in the Take day. Take your toes out of the dirt. Man. I like my toes in the dirt, you piece of shit. Okay. I was thinking like back in the day when people simped for like the president, that was also a parasocial relationship. Yeah, okay. I think anything you do, mm. anything you do in like entertainment that is like presenting yourself involves like some percentage of like parasocial pull that keeps you popular and like entertaining so say, you can't get away low. from that all i'm saying is it's easy it, it, it that's what happens i do the same thing i really like bands i have a band on my fucking arm uh just don't be cringe and now a message for me undies and another th- what is that <laughs> is that what, your is that what, your intro what is that and a fake and another thing. we don't need an, and another thing because i already hit it to us
Yeah, you're yeah. already, I he already to us through. In He's the right. most verbose you're way. You're terrible at this. Fuck you. What? Fuck you. You're being an asshole what right now. What do you now. have to say about this? There's something in the dirt? <gasps> what oh, is what is that, Sparky? <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's me undies, and they're in a package. Wow. Oh. And they survived the blast like a cockroach. It survived in perfect condition? How'd you do and that I'm so sure their bralettes would have as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't have that. It's just underwear. Whoa, it's it's no. like it's like <laughs> rubble themed. It's like tan. Okay, no, so they actually have socks. Look, these too. are the Chris Kyle Wait, edition. What? The cool thing about me undies is that these ones might not let you know, but these are holiday focused undies. But they also have more traditional oh, holiday dude. undies. But this is the like the cool ancient shirt. holiday tradition. That the Babylonians used to use. This well, is the yeah. color. Okay, now you're and, wearing it on your. And that's how they wore it. I'm back not going to lie. Back it's in comfy. The Babylonian holiday. <laughs> and that's the thing is that they're com oh, What are you doing? We there? can use it for survival. That's. <gasps> it wouldn't work that way. The opposite Why of survival. It wouldn't work that way. Stop. It would never be used that way. That could work. That could work. Uh, but me, hey, me undies, I've used them personally. They always send us stuff. I literally wear them because I lose my underwear a lot, and they're comfy as hell. Yeah, Ludwig also has needs underwear constantly. Desperately. He's probably free balling right now. Because he's always no, pooping his pants. Because I have me undies on. Interesting. Oh. Because it's there for you. I, when I was in New Hampshire for the holidays, wiped and then it kept coming and I didn't have a bidet. Same thing happened in my so, ear. Oh, it's the worst, I just bro. gave up. What's the else? <laughs> <laughs> Look, go to meundies.com slash the yard. If you want 20% off your first order and free shipping. That's right. Yeah, you get your first order whoa, 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 whoa. 20% back off. Up. I'm sorry, I was Fucking going too back fast up. for you. What's what is up? the URL? The URL, dude. It's meundies.com slash the yard. Or just go to meundies.com. It's simpler. At slash the yard for slash our 20% yard, off though. discount. Slash the yard, though. Plus discount. free shipping. You would want our discount. It's so Fucking so, slut. Sign me up. I know. That's what well, I'm saying. You I'm didn't typing let me finish, in right now. and now I'm your dirty little guy. I'm typing in right now. Also, that happened in New Hampshire with my butt in your mom's bathroom. And on that note, let's get back to the show. Oh, something happened to me today. I what think, happened? I think Damon? I was sexually harassed. Wait, that, really? I feel yeah. like that's bad. Dude, yeah. dude we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> you're being an asshole right now. No, you're right. So that's annoying. <laughs> no, what, 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 hey, what happened? Well, dude, it's fine. What hit? No, it's fine. Tell man. the horsey bears. No, you, you have your... Uh, you listen to me. You have your emotional, <laughs> your emotional protection horse. Tell us what, what? happened. Aiden, mm -hmm. put the cow hat on. I don't care how charred it is. Oh, dude, it looks... It's put so Put it on. Put it on your head. And tell now us what little, happened. What happened, little cow. Man. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that's wrong. They shouldn't do that. <laughs> Stop standing in the way of their love. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that cows and horses, it's backward. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Cows Aiden, Aiden what, okay, happened? what happened to you? You can't I, just say that. You know the sunglasses that Atriog broke? I yeah. finally went to go get them fixed today. And I went to a store uh, to to get them repaired. Walk up to the guy, and he uh, is he, he doesn't seem like that engaged with me at first, but he has kind of like a low, like sultry sort of voice. And I'm just like, okay, well, I I, I almost feel like I'm bothering him in a weird way, even though this is like what you do. Uh, and he asks, uh, he asked me to take it all out. I have all the parts for the sunglasses, except the one, the main thing that's missing is there's a screw that goes into the glasses and the nut on the other side mm -hmm. is missing. So he needs to replace it, hopefully. And he looks at me, he like looks me in the eyes and like dead center. And he's like, <laughs> I need your nut. <laughs> <laughs> but he says it like straight faced wow. and, and like. But in like a deep, like he said it. There's like an he, air to it, yeah. and I'm your like, nut is weird. And I'm so yes, exactly. Your is it the was the way it was. The, it was the choice of words and the way Whoa. he said it. And I'm like frozen because I'm like <laughs> I'm like calculating. It was like euphemism. It's I'm no, surely he didn't mean that. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Maybe I misspoke. Maybe he thinks he I have the part, and I'm like freezing. And I, I'm just like no, see, I don't have the part. Part yeah, and and he's like, I'm, I'm just kidding around, and my hand is on the counter, like on top of the glass countertop, like this, and he takes my hand and like traces across my hand like this. Oh my god! And I'm just, uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, and I I just like totally frozen. He goes in the back. I'm just standing there looking at my phone. He fixes my glasses. 
and I'm just like stumbling through my words. So I'm like, th- thank you. Yep. Thanks for fixing that so fast. It, quick. Is it, let and me ask you a question. Goodbye now. Is this Riz? <laughs> I don't think. What's, I don't what? think touching people like that is Riz. What's Did you Riz? feel uncomfortable? I think I was like. What's Riz? I think I was. You're being an asshole right now. I bro. was uncomfortable. You gotta Google it, bro. And You're I acting feel, fucking old. It's weird. I felt like I didn't want to like, be angry or accusatory because in my mind, there was like a, a benefit of the doubt version of this that right. was like. He's just he's, being nice and He's playful. just a nice sort of like father-like figure who literally just tried to make like a play on words joke and then was just like. I was just oh, messing he, with he you. Hit the brown kinda, note, kind of, kind of like in a, kind of like in a pat your hand type of way, you know. Can I ask you this? Because you've been on a phone call with me before, and then yeah. called someone gay because you, and there you were right. Yeah, not in like a mean f- way, but you, you shouldn't say. <laughs> so you, you predicted that no, you, you, what's the word? It, you identified them as yes, gay. inseminated. Do you, or, did you think this dude was gay? Not, I, I don't think. It was a tough call Did to make. Did you think it was flirtatious? Yeah, <laughs> it felt flirtatious. Yeah, interesting. Like, the whole conversation without the hand touch felt a little that way to begin with. And then and he then sealed it, the deal. And then I got a... I didn't get a tap. I got a caress. That's so weird. weird. And, Is he old? Uh, yeah, he, he's clearly, like, in his, l- I would say, mid-40s to mid-50s. How was that old enough? How was the hair? Huh? That's not old enough for you get the weird He was bald. Weird, he was weird pass. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Which says a lot about bald It does say a lot about bald oh, people. Oh, bald? <laughs> yeah. He was a villain. <laughs> I, I, I probably know him. Disney's right. <laughs> I, I can talk <laughs> to him. Hold on. I'll check the bald index. Yeah, that's Neil. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I just froze up. I was like, uh, I remember the last, because I, I was so, I don't want to believe that somebody is like nefarious in that situation, but I also couldn't help but feel oh. uncomfortable. And it reminded me a lot, the the one other time, the, well, two other times, this is like explicitly happened to my recollection, but the I remember one time that actually shook me up. It was, I was anybody that went to the University of Washington knows about the Ave. It's like the main street that you walk down for food. I'm walking down. There's a lot of uh, people who are like homeless on that street who just like kind of mingle and hang around and stuff. And I'm not saying this is fucking apply applicable to homeless people or something, but a dude who's obviously in pretty bad shape, who's huge, who's like six, six to six, eight. He's fucking enormous. I'm just walking down the street. And as he walks by me, he reaches around and gets a handful of ass oh, man. like and like holds on to it for a sec. Wait, now, hold on. We don't know if this is sexual harassment yet. <laughs> hey, what were you wearing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I That's was in, I was like, shorts. I was in a thong. So I was like, <laughs> there. That, guy, <laughs> that guy's name, David Schwimmer. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, just remember. Hug. Let's uh, just hug. But I just remember looking around and I turned around and I was just so shook. I didn't even know what to say. And he just winked at me and kept walking. Oh my God. And there's like, dude, it's so crazy. Cause like you just, you're so frozen and you can't really do anything in that moment. And it feels so like jacked six foot six homeless dude. Yeah. (laughs) Damn. Only in Washington, baby. That's crazy. He's just really, he's really tall and really big. Yeah, yeah, uh it it sucks. I've I've had a, a very <clears throat> similar thing happen to me. Like you get your ass grabbed by by you know someone you don't want and you have to like it, it's the the dynamic if you're a dude is always easier because you can whip around and be like what the fuck are you doing? You know or whatever. Yeah. Um and like I always think back to that moment when I think about like women telling stories or whatever. It's like you don't have access to that like that uh what do you call it? That like engagement, right? Yeah. You're just like always in fear of physicality. So it fucking sucks, and it does shake you. So I'm sorry that that weird no, glasses it, guy. It was it was just should... jarring, and I was like, I'm. Uh, and then I got in my car, and I was thinking about it. I was like, why do I feel so weird? And then I was like, I have a podcast to talk about this. <laughs> Saved. We should pretty woman him. Go back. You go in the store with big a, mistake. Very nice, huge. Suit. And I strip down in his well, store, I don't and I'm think, like, "You can't, he's on you can't day. have Is any he, of this. You can't have what I got." You, you bend over, <laughs> and your nuts come out of your shorts. <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, Oops. whoops!" You act flirty, and then you have ten men in women suitors walk in, and they're all like, "Aiden, we're waiting for you in the car in our big limo where we all <laughs> fuck." And then they go, "Ew!" Something I do when they look at him. <laughs> something I did. <laughs> Think about. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I 
draw my my uh, I draw my cool hundred dollar bill. Look at my nasty nuts <laughs> peeking out of my undies. <laughs> and, then, and then the twenty the twenty uh, suiters just uh, fucking uh, spit. the eighteen naked cowboys. Who's this fucking old fuck? Yeah, <laughs> why you, you, you can bald. <laughs> you can't have any of it. Yeah, mm. we can do this for you. <laughs> I think I think a weird thought I had was when I interact with like customer service workers and like people in that scenario. I think in general I adopt a very like polite, light sort of voice, and I'm also like, like I don't know, I'm kind of a twinky guy, if you will. So I, I, no, come on, no, like you, yeah, no, don't say that, you, dude. We you. like we like you. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> think you're great. Got it. Don't make me tap the sign. It just says no twinks. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot this whole time. You could probably, probably write that in right there. That's why I'm trying to grow out my body. You here, probably you put know? it in the Can charcoal. You write no twinks with your with your finger. Yeah, just, zipper. If you get the uh, no. uh, that's on there, bro. That grenade stays. I, the yeah. I know it shouldn't matter. I had kind of like a guilty thought in a way because I was like, I've been in enough of these scenarios where I'm like, dude, does like my kind of like presentation of myself, uh like invite these sort of scenarios and that made me feel weird too well, who's the strongest person you know uh you want me to say you i do <laughs> and it leads me to my story so do it <laughs> <laughs> do it you fucking idiot say you, and see what he you does. Like, you're so ah, strong you're so ah. big and me, huge even me aiden a big strong man uh -huh. one time my boss at best buy uh, salted me at night because we went out to party it was like my boss and like a couple friends that I had and we went to uh, like East LA to some bars we bar hopped around and, and I, for, I don't know I was just a dumb kid but he was for sure uh, gay and into me and I didn't realize either of these facts until the night where we stayed at his place and it was me a co-worker and him yeah and then he had, he got weak gaydar uh, I do have a really weak gaydar <laughs> And then it was, he was staying in his bedroom and I was staying on the couch and then the other friend had the other bedroom. So I was like, all right, I got the couch by myself. And there it's like middle of the fucking night. Then he comes out of his room and then he goes up and he snuggles behind me. And he's my boss. What the and I'm fuck? Like, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, ooh. And then he goes for like a caress move and then I'm like, whoop. And then I'm up and then I just stand in the bathroom and I just lock it and I just stay in the bathroom and he comes through and he's like, everything good? I'm like, yep. <laughs> oh my God. And then, and Shit, then I, I wait for him. Like, All right, I'll be right out. I'll be here when you come good. back. So <laughs> I wait for him to leave and then, uh, and then I go to bed. He doesn't bother me again and I wake up and I leave. And then, and then I, I can't believe you even that's got this. Awful. I can't believe you slept. Yeah. I sound like I think, a baby. That's why internet comments yeah, so bothered no, me. He was, was cuddling me. It was, it was comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I went to his room after. Like, I got did, lonely Did you there. just like have to keep working at Best Buy? There was two managers and he had, he had quickly moved departments. I don't know if we're related, but he had moved departments. After yeah, that. So, a, uh, I think it was so there was like a bigger guy in charge and every time there was a report about this guy, they'd move him to a new Best Buy store. Until a small Boston newspaper got wind of the story. Yeah, his, his name was a father, father, <laughs> yeah. and a real fucked up guy who couldn't really talk right broke the story, and his name was Tom <laughs> Buffalo. Uh, yeah, and I'm strong. Yeah, I, I think it it's because disarms you. I think it's because you I'm don't want like contact disarms you, no matter how big yeah. and strong you are. It's not a fun feeling. I'm like Terry Croon. Feels yeah, feels awful. <laughs> real shit in strength. That's why I'm, I'm laughing. I'm like, I don't, you think you're like Terry Crews? <laughs> this is me moving my He's as strong as like Terry Crews does. <laughs> that should be like when you twerk and your whole back moves. Like if you try to do the, the titty thing. And, oh, oh, oh my oh, god! Bro. It hit the cow hat. Oh wow, no! You died. Thank God you were wearing the cow helmet. The whole metal shrapnel. Yeah, no, let him touch it. No, because he, he can learn. I'm moving. Like, I want move the shrapnel. I want tetanus, man. What do you guys want to keep? I want tetanus. From, we obviously fucking can't pod here anymore. We can keep sexy yeah. skeleton. He's pretty fine. Keep sexy skeleton, Sackman. I, I want my gnome. Ooh. Keep the gnome. We all get one item. Are we? What are we doing with it? We're taking it home. I don't know. I mean, we just do keep with it. it. Like this is obviously. Is this shit over? I am not gonna be in the fucking. I'm not gonna have my toes in the dirt. For the rest of this I'm not gonna do pod. another podcast on this set. Should we have I'll a podcast, man? I'm like fucking. Ending? I think I'm fucking done. If it's gonna look like this, do you? Well, I I don't want to end it. I just we just I. Where are we gonna do? You ever think about ending it, man? No, because you guys like the fucking money. Yeah, every now and then I do. You I know, know I don't. I, I know, know you talked about this. I love these the game. Two, these two never think about ending it.
I think about it sometimes, but I'm like, uh, uh, okay. I think about, hey, I think about real me? rich. This this guy gets a YouTube check and he's like, oh, you guys think about the money. Oh, fuck you, man. You already got the money. You know what I mean? Nah, it's not about the money for me though. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, it's love of the game. What is it? Is it love of the game? I guess it's just about the love of the game. Actually, that's what I told the son and them, uh, gang and them on the podcast. I was like, well, the po- the point of the yard was for Ludwig to get his friends rich, uh, which was cool. <clears throat> and that is the truth. Mm-hmm. So what mm-hmm. was, what? Did, so he didn't have an answer about what For the what? point of their podcast is. No, but he was upfront about it. He's like, I don't know. We're just like, well, to we're, be clear, we're that to was my out. goal with this podcast. And I had no other goals. Uh, mm. What? To get you guys rich. Yeah. But you, you were just like, make <clears throat> it happen and I'll be Ludwin Anders and I'll be on it and all this stuff. And, and that was, that was the cool part. It was like, my goal was. We had been talking about it for so long. We had been talking about it forever. And me and Anthony, well, my personal goal was me and Anthony had never made anything together. And I was like, I want to make something with you. And so we worked on this idea for a while, but we, could, we were lazy. <laughs> have, have so we told we the story about how, <laughs> how I originally gave the deadline to yeah, do it? Yeah, you told the story. Yeah, yeah. that's my favorite that, that was, That's what was cool. That's what I was saying. It's like, you said, I will support this in any way I'm well, like why I gave able. the deadline. Yeah. I, yeah, because Zipper yeah. 2. Wait, what happened with no, Zipper you, 2? You, you've told us on I've the t- show. I'll retell it, but basically the reason I gave it, because we've been talking about doing a podcast for a year, but the reason I finally was like, oh. hey, this is the deadline to do it. You, like, go nuts. Use this space in the house. Use as much money as you need to make it happen. Uh, and, and break was because like, like the previous few weeks, I had heard rumblings that Zipper 2 was like, was like, I mean... N- Oh, Nick just keeps saying like he's going to work on this podcast and that's why he has to like live with the guys, but he's like not doing it. I, for, I yeah. forgot about all this. Forgot yeah. about this reason. Wow. So you did it out of and the was, kindness of your like, heart. And I was like, all right, this is the date now. Wow. <laughs> and, but it was easy for me because all I have to do is give a date, but. Yeah. And then we, we held the. So that. Zipper 2 made us. Zipper 2, well, we owe her a lot. Road dog. Yeah. yeah. I was made by you. What did you say? I said Zipper 2 made you guys, and then I said, well, not me. And then yeah. I said I was made by you. And I, I said you. Ouroboros. I am the I am the Eld the, the Erd tree of Ludwig Anders. Yeah. And you guys are the demigods, and Ludwig is Godwin the Golden, and you get killed. We need to kill you. Fuck. My name's got God in it. Can Fuck I be it. someone better? You can be Ronnie. She dies. I just read Berserk. <laughs> I want to be a god hand. That's bad. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get that far. <laughs> One of the good ones? Uh, I'm only on the third volume. He does the R word. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's, that, that volume is, that manga is full of R word. I am berserk. You're berserk. <laughs> John, John berserk. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, that, again, I'm, berserk. I'm not that deep into the show, okay. so. What do you guys think we should do with the Sibian? Oh, we never used it. Yeah, we never went. Yeah, we, we never, never went batshit loco. We never used it. I. So. <laughs> you said that weird. No, it's like a. Did you use you, the what Sibian? We, what should we do? You with the said Sibian? it like you said it like. Parts of that have asterisks. On Did it. you? Uh, and yeah, it's like it's like right. Like, what are we gonna like? What are we gonna what do? What does that? never? This mean. is so what? shocking because you are no offense, the last guy I could ever imagine being brave enough to put something up your ass. He's sub. I love missionary, and I also would do that. You know what I'm saying? Speak to that. Can you mish a Sibian? <laughs> I, I can goddamn try it. <laughs> I'll get there. I, the I will not reveal their identity, but I have a volunteer who said they would use it as long as it is cleaned and sanitized. Wow. I don't know. Not in a way that they would like let us can spectate. Not I'm saying that I want to spectate. Can you confirm this is not Zipper 3? It, I can confirm okay, it's not Zipper 3. Because this is where everyone first... That, that no, it's not insane. Zipper 3. Can you confirm it's not Zipper 2? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you confirm that it's not Zipper? Sonic, <laughs> <laughs> the Sonic drawing may so be hinting... I mean, look, we, we can just give it... We, you know what? We just drop it off at a Goodwill. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. We should go bury it. That's like a and then give people the coordinates. <laughs> you know we want to do that. We we sell a bunch of old Ludwig hoodies, like Gen One teal hoodies or mint hoodies. I wanted to like bury them in like a Nevada Dude, desert. We, it'd be so funny to do like one of those man on the street like Santa Monica videos, but it's like ride the Sibian, get Every a mint minute hoodie, you last get a dollar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or or it's like uh, 50 50 the Sibian, like a Tony Hawk goal. <laughs> Not a <laughs> <laughs> or you do a Ross Creations video and you bury it in sand and you're hiring a metal detector to find your lost <laughs> yeah, treasure. Yeah, and it's like, but it's not a metal detector, it's just making the sound because uh, it's on. Uh, awesome. guys, guys, here. guys, focus. Can we all, before focus. we focus, say a memory that we've loved in this space? 
No. I No, I'm just kidding. I have some good memories. You don't like reminiscing on the past. I like reminiscing on the past. I don't like reminiscing on the present. Like the way Josh does. I know it sounded dumb just now. Yeah. We'll you, be eating breakfast and Josh will be like, this is so great. And yeah, I'm like, Yeah, you don't Shut like up. being in the middle of the thing that's nice and talking about it's nice. What? All right. Let, my favorite moment ever. It was when Nick said, well, Ludwig, I guess there's no loads refused. <laughs> you like that, that was moment like a, few weeks a lot. Ago. That was no, a recent one. that was a long time ago. Really? I rewatched the clip of you laughing at that and I was laughing just because of how hard you were laughing. You really got me. It was, it was good. I rewatched recently. Actually, wait, I'm trying to, real quick, I'm trying to remember all my favorite bits. It was you doing that, uh, Eamon saying Quebin or the, the <laughs> Swift story. And Quebin's very Dude, new. Dude, I love the Swift also, story. Also, Eamon's uh, Josh episode, his breakout episode, it was the best, it was the best he's <laughs> ever done. That sucks for him because that was 70 episode bombed. <laughs> well, not even that, it was just 75 episodes into it. Like, he went a year and a half. <laughs> And then, uh, that's out. when he shines. Ludwig yeah. doing. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple for Ludwig. One is doing the, and I'm gonna eat your bones. <laughs> you like you like the wires and the robots. Pretending to be me, also the wires and the robots, and also the ad read. Uh, yeah, the ad read, and also him doing XQC on the your mom episode. Mm. That was a good one. I I like I liked I liked. Fuck, I forgot it. I, I liked the pod. It was great. Yeah. Uh, no, I liked the one where me and Aiden got high. On, mu- uh, on edibles, not mushrooms. I did not like the mushrooms one. But the one where we got high on edibles, and Aiden was super high, and I kept just laughing at Aiden, but I felt like I was fine. <laughs> mm. And I still think like I was funny. It was a good time. It, it was basically like we were making fun of Aiden, because you were sober, and I felt sober, and I feel like I came off sober. And so it was basically like Aiden's the fucking weird one. You did, where you were just more smiley. Yeah. You were like the outrageous fun guy that mm-hmm. you make fun of. I recently rewatched the bit where Ludwig is dressed in Disney clothes. And oh, yeah, totally like and slime is like, so where were you today? <laughs> <laughs> and that whole it's like seven minutes of just it, it makes me laugh so hard. I, and I don't even necessarily think it's that funny to like maybe our audience. But that whole bit, I think, is so reminiscent of like how we really do fucking talk. To each other all the time. And yeah, I was laughing so hard watching it. Yeah, there's been a lot because you're like, like you like bits. berate Ludwig for like like seven full minutes, and then you're like, I'm so tired of you, and he's like, I'm what you're tired of, <laughs> and it was so good. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we're funny. Man. Man. It was a fair moment. Uh, I really, I think my favorite episode might still be the Stav one. Wow, it's just so I love that episode. Dude, that episode and is just our, so and funny to me. W- most hated by fans. Yeah, it's, it's just so controversial. controversial. It's so like controversial. Most yeah. controversial. Yeah, and I, I still think so many things. It's like, the only one my mom our didn't whole, like. Our whole conversation about about 9-11 in that episode is so funny to me still. It's oh, a, it's like, a it just keeps well. It just keeps escalating, and uh, it just keeps going. The bit about, like, he might land it. That bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I really, I really love that episode. Um, hey, you I know think what? Any, <laughs> also, also maybe in the same vein, I, dude, I like cry laughing when we talk about the dogs fucking, oh. fucking Susan, dude. Oh, I, okay. I think well, it, that's I'm sorry. Necessarily. <laughs> Susan, yeah. Oh, Susan was just like, that, 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 that no. whole escalation she of the joke across, yeah. across episodes. You, you know what? what the, the, just, I think the peak of that bit was when we did the Archie uh, premium episode in uh, UK. Dude, that, we were talking about how the queen fucks the corgis. Yeah. And Archie, Archie was so good on it, too. I was so yeah. happy that he was oh, funny. It's just I so love that good. little bear. I, I think I go back and like watch that uh, li- like that just makes me really just laugh really hard and last is most most recently I've been re-watching our Shady Rays ad read I listen because to I'm like I every time I watch I start tearing up laughing because something <laughs> about so did we cut the original ad read that we're talking about in that episode the barge one did we cut did we, we have to cut, cut that bar- yeah we cut yeah. some of the barge can we say what we said that had to get cut yeah we're in the episode Fuck so it. so yeah so the thing that we cut that makes that even funnier is we're I think it's a hello fresh or factor ad read where we're talking about how hello fresh burns all their trash on a barge <laughs> on a barge <laughs> <laughs> just, oh my God. during the ad read and I think and that, that was is, all Aiden 
Aiden Hi. just like that just came out of his Don't head. Don't say like he found a spark of magic. <laughs> no, he bad. did. It's yeah. so <laughs> it was. Uh, it's just like, man, you'll fucking buy their meals and they throw <laughs> the they put the trash on the <laughs> bar and, and they fucking fire, man. all the trash gets burnt <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> I got one skill in life, and it's like knowing how to make some money, and you guys ruin that. <laughs> we make it, we, you know what? We make it a little challenging. Yeah, you do. You, you do offer some challenges along that? the way. You know? Can we fucking focus up just for a second? Well, I We don't have a set anymore. That's true. Yeah. The police are evicting us. That's mm. true. From the house mm. that he owns. Mm. What are we Chocolate. going to do? Ch Chocolate's dead. Mm. He doesn't care about that part. I don't no. care about I don't care about that part either. I don't care about that part either. Because you caused all this. Yeah, I don't. Chocolate is dead. Is the show over, or are we going to figure something out? 